The only way you can become valuable to a team is to believe and express yourself. And that's exactly what we saw with the young man, Johnny Kenny. Because January 2021, he signed his first professional contract with Sligo Overs. In November 2021, he signed another three years deal with Sligo Overs. In January 2022, he signed a five-year deal with Celtic. That's amazing. Yeah, he is special though, isn't he? I think he's more than special. As much as the deal or as much as his, um, his move seems amazing, he went through tough time. End of May 2021. We were in the mid-season break. Yeah. So, and on that time, things were not looking good for Johnny. Because... So this was... So he signed in January. Yeah. This, so this is May. So now we're five months in. Yeah. And uh, things are not looking good. He played 13 games and he scored two goals. And we're talking about someone who used to score goals just for fun. Because the year before... That means in um, in under nineteen league, he scored, uh, I think, twenty three goals. Wow. Twenty three goals. Wow. Can you imagine? <laughs> no. But how? Okay, so in um, the year before, he scored twenty three goals. But uh, in these thirteen games that he played, like, was he on? Like, did he start off? Nine game as a starter. Yeah. And then four games as a substitute. And he scored two goals. And I think when you see on the preseason, I think he scored five goals in four games. Right. So when you have a young player in the preseason scoring five goals in four games, yeah. Like for the club, they have so much expectation on his ability. They were confident that he's, he's going to have a huge, a huge impact. But do you think that it's like if you're going to be that young and and have all these high expectations that it's pressure or that because he's moved to another level that it's going to just be harder? It's, it's both because there is so much difference between the under 19 and the premier division. Yeah. The gap is huge. Yeah. And that's why sometimes it can take um, two or three years. Yeah. For a player to really start to prove himself yeah. on the Premier Division when he's coming through the academy because the gap is so huge. Yeah. You know? uh, but that's something people, they don't really understand because for them, they just see a player. Yeah. But at, on the under-19, when you, when you make that step, um, you have the competition that you never experienced before. Yeah. In, in the dressing room, uh, on, even on the pitch, you have a competition in places like you never experienced because you don't have that too much that competition under 19. But then when you step up, you have to get a strong character and you have to earn the respect. Yeah. And what happened with Johnny is that uh, on that mid-season break, as a striker, he asked himself, what makes a striker a striker? It's confidence. Right. It's not arrogance. It's confidence. Yeah. And you must have plenty of it. Because if you don't, that's going to be difficult for you to perform, to believe, and to excel. That's why in the second half of the season, when he came back, uh, he was a different player. Yeah. Completely different. Like, I never see that before. I, I never see that before. Oh, la, la. The young man was on fire. <laughs> on fire in second half of the season. 19 games played. 15 games as a starter. 4 games as a substitute. 12 goals. Wow. No, that's not wow. <laughs> that's wow, 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 wow. <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine 19 games, 12 goals? 
the yeah. same player who has 13 games, two goals. Wow, 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 wow. Exactly. Wow. <laughs> he, he deserves it, you know. Yeah. That's, I, I saw many young players since I'm in Ireland, but that kind of performer, I never see it. Like the, the, the character that young man show was um, from a different, a different world. Yeah. Com- completely. I think, and that's why I felt that it's so, it's so good when you have uh, the right people around you who give you the right advice, um, who keep you grounded yeah. and find the right solution. Yeah. The second part of the season, Johnny Kenny changed the narrative of his story. How did he know kind of to change the narrative? Like instead of like what makes him not go, what makes him not go down, you know? The reason I would say um, Johnny Kenny, I'm pretty sure with the help of his family and especially his father, you know, understood that uh, taking excuses or blaming others for your performance will never bring you anywhere. Never. Never. Because nothing is given. You have to earn it. Yeah. And that's, I think that's the, the reality of Johnny, Johnny Kenny story. Nothing is given. You have to earn it. Yeah. Because if he didn't have that performance in second or the second half of the season, today, we wouldn't be here talking about Johnny Kenny. <laughs> or what we would have said is what? He has a great potential. Yeah, but he needs He's a time. great talent. <laughs> he needs time to develop. That would have been the narrative. Yeah. And that's the narrative of a lot of young players. Yeah. But Johnny Kenny said, no, I need to change that. Yeah. And that, for me, he is... The, the great example of any young player. Because the environment is different on the 19 and the, 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 the premier division. They struggle to adapt and they start to putting blames on others. Yeah. Are they wrong? Not really, because sometimes what they say is true. Yeah. But unfortunately, the time you spend putting blames on others is a time is a time you don't put in develop your own skills because we're talking about your own skills and we're talking about your desire to to be the best you can be yeah but when you understand that nothing is given you have to earn it then you understand that you have to go through struggle to be the player you have to be and the response of Johnny were magnificent. And you could take that advice or that the way of looking at it in any, not just in football, like in any way in life. Yeah. Like you, you can focus your, you can be finger pointing or looking for excuses or looking for reasons why. And as you say, like pointing fingers and then you're actually wasting your time and energy in that when you could be putting it into just going, okay, this happened. How do I deal with it? What do I do? Uh, you know, analyze, look at where, where you can improve. But as you say as well, like listening to others, like taking the advice of others, how that's hard though. Like, who do you know? Cause I'm sure you'd be getting conflicting advice as well. I have a question for you. Yeah. Do you think, uh, Nantourage can help a young player to be successful or to fail? An entourage? Yeah. So It's totally going to depend on who their entourage is. Are you talking about like a group of friends? No, no, no. That, 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 about... That's what I'm saying. The entourage, when I say entourage, is the friends, the family, everything around the player, every close person around the player. Yeah. Does he have an impact on how it can succeed or how it can fail? Yeah, probably. Because it's going to... If they're supportive in the right way, because if they're going to be building them up 
and have expectations on them? Like, are they going to be just building up an ego or are they going to be building up a confidence or a skills or, you know, it, it totally depends on who your entourage is. If you have a supportive, protective entourage, that's going to have your best benefits at their heart. Surely that's going to help. You know, whereas if you've got people who are kind of ligging on to your success, that's very, very different because they're in it for their, what they're going to get out of it. Yeah. And when I'm talking about being supportive, I don't necessarily mean that they're like a yes man. I mean, no, that's they, they're going to be disciplined, yeah. like they're going to be disciplined in you and you, you're not going to be happy. Yeah. But if they're the right people with the right intentions for you yeah that's gonna be but that's a kind of no-brainer isn't it to even need to ask that question yeah of course because uh, uh, for years we all said that the gap between the under 19 is huge for a young player to be able to succeed Johnny changed the narrative because he proved that you can be successful your first year. Yeah. And God, th that, that does make a big difference. It is it? a huge difference. It's a game changer. There is no more excuses for a young player to say, oh, no one ever done it before. Because Johnny done it. And he, his father was a player, right? Yeah. Yeah. Is it because uh, Johnny's dad was a player like that he understands the system? Because not every player is going to have either a father there or a father who's a player, you know, to be it, in that role? I, I would say when it comes to uh, a young footballer, it's not if you were a footballer. As a parent, you always have to keep your child grounded. Yeah. So you, you need to make him understood that, listen, you are good, but you are not there yet. Yeah. That's very important. Why? Because the manager is going to demand so much of him. Yeah. And if he thinks it's better than what he is, he's going to struggle with the demand. But when he understood that, listen, I still growing, I still develop, I still developing my game, it's mm -hmm. easier for him to take any advice without thinking that he's a critic. Yeah. So that's what I'm saying about the whole of parents are so huge when it comes to uh, players' uh, development. It's, yeah. so, it's so huge. Because most of the time, the manager or the coaches, they don't have time to nursing players. Yeah. Based on the result. Like Premier Division is all about the result. Yeah. So when Johnny scored only two goals, yeah. do you think that the club say, he's going to continue playing even if he doesn't score goals? Do you think the club going to think like that? <laughs> No, and it's going to be the manager's job on the line too. Exactly. So the next thing they look at is who can score more goals? Yeah. But it really go back to what makes a striker a striker. Because to score, tw to score 23 goals in under 19, you need a lot of confidence. Mm. But, but do you know what happened in that mid-season break? Do you know what made, what made that change? Yeah, of course. I saw him play in the first half of the season. I saw him play in the second half of the season. He was two different players. And I knew something happened. Yeah. I knew because he, he started start to uh, not just play football, but to understand football. Mm. And you can see the joy in him. Everything he was doing. He started to try things that he couldn't try it before. Yeah. Why? Full of confidence. Yeah. I can't even imagine the kind of pressure you'd be under at that age. When you have lack of confidence, you feel pressure. When you are, you are full of confidence, you want pressure. Mm. You want responsibilities. You, you feel that, yeah, every time you want the ball, just give, give me the ball. Give me the ball. That's what I was saying, that, that idea of like seeing something as a challenge as opposed to a problem, like, you know, having that change in that mindset. But the other thing is, I wonder, like, I always find it so weird, like when you go to a match and there's these young guys are out there and there's grown men and women 
and their own peers and their own age group shouting abuse at them and not just from the other team like like from their home team if they do something wrong if they miss it and like I just wonder how or why anyone would even want to get into playing because if you're going to have that level of abuse hurled at you it must be really 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 hard that's what I say about the character how you build your character and that's why I just amazed by the reaction of this young man because I know how difficult it is from the end of the mix season to the start of the second half of the season two weeks break Mm. and he has to change his mentality there he came back a different player 19 games 12 goals that's fantastico 12 goals Magnifico. I know we weren't even going to talk about this, but what happens next now? <laughs> like here, it's got, you know, the whole thing is going to repeat itself, except he's on another level. Now he has a blueprint. Nothing can bring the young man down anymore. He knows that if my confidence is high, I will always come back up. That's amazing, isn't it? Yeah. That's why I say nothing is given. You have to earn it. When you understand it, everything starts to be uh, sweet, like my mama cooking. <laughs> have you ever tasted my mom's cooking? I did, actually. That, that's amazing, isn't it? It was sent over from Cameroon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's amazing. <laughs> that, that's amazing. Amazing, was, amazing. Yeah. Hey, by the way, I, I can't wait for the, the meeting between Johnny and Kenny at the national team. Oh, la, 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 la. That's going to be epic. <laughs> Can you imagine? Oh, Johnny yeah. and Kenny. <laughs> Together at last. Together. That combination going to bring some great, great things in this country. I look forward to it. I'm Joseph Ndo. I'm Sinead Dolan. Former different angle.